Uh, so it's a in very interesting platform. Uh, there are very few uh, uh, these kind of events which I used to attend uh, on the annual to annual basis. So ETHR is, is one of them. Uh, so the interesting factor is that we are able to come to know what is happening around and what are the new trends into the HR domain. For example, today when we were uh, discussing and able to see that how the trend of training and development, L&D and now the capability management, how to change the scenario with the objectivity and how the digital landscape has removed the transitional and transactional phase of the HR. So a lot of things here to learn and experiment and reflect back how it works from one organization to another organization. So in that way, if you see uh, the entire uh, life cycle of HR processes from hiring to retiring, the, the everywhere we are able to see the uh, very positive intervention of uh, digital part of the HR processes. Uh, so I can say it has influenced everything. What what is uh, reversely changes that how to check the touch points of the people management process in the organization. So at times also it should not be very much overdoing uh, without losing the touch point of human emotions in the organization. And that is what you can see in the many organizations. There is a huge, uh, huge issue of employee stress, uh, burnt out, uh, some undesired incidents also ha happening uh, that people are be becoming a some sort of criminal mindset to revoke and revolt against the system. Uh, so one side it is a digital part of the HR process, another is a human touch which is very very important. Cost saving uh, is important but for the organization it is more important that uh, with the digital you have access to the data and information at your fingertips. Second is the accuracy of data, accuracy of data and access of the data. So at any point in time if you need at 24-7 you have access of the data while even you're walking through your digital platform is on the mobile or laptop uh, which was earlier was taking too much time and also there was an issue of accuracy uh, the only uh, flip side is that how well secure we have a system into the data or data into the system uh, it is too much is when uh, you uh, depend everything on the data and process on digital side and uh, what is happening in, in the mind of the people uh, is you are not connecting and measuring the engagement just only talking to the system doesn't work so many times uh, if you see whether hiring i can you, you can do the hiring process with robotics or ai and everything but but many times i strongly feel that seeing is believing so that aspect should not be lost out because we are not a machine we are enabled to machine our machines are enabled to us uh, so that touch point should not be lost into that process. Many things like, for example, onboarding. The, uh, earlier, I remember when uh, we had started the career, there used to be around a month for the onboarding system process, induction and, and all that. And if, they, if you are a large organization and multi-location organization, people used to move from one place to another to travel to both the introduction done by that. Today, because of uh, digital <coughs> support, you are sitting inside the office, whether in Mumbai or in Bharuch, you are able to interact and able to go through the entire process of orientation and induction online available virtually. Uh, so, so this is how it has made a lot of sense uh, transitioning from 15 day, day journey to uh, say 3 4 hours induction is completed much more meaningfully because you are having everything uh, virtually checkable and verifiable.